Hello and welcome to Axicon Videos. Today we're looking at the user data feature for the 15000 series camera verifier software. When configured, the user data allows the software to ask the user question when verification is made. This information will be stored in any reports or scan files that are saved. The data may typically be a batch number or which customer this product is for. For this example, I will set up a user data with free text and a drop-down select menu. First, we need to make sure that autosave reports is saved so we can see the results of the user data. Then we head into settings and select the user data tab. I will first make a free text item, which is really quick to do. An example for having a free text item is job reference or batch numbers. Select add and a new window will appear to configure the free text item. Give this item a title and this title will appear on the reports. For this example I will use job reference. For a text item I have the choice for allowing blank content or not. I will untick this and that is it. Let's see what it looks like when verifying a barcode. As you can see the job reference appears here and the OK button is graded out. Once I've entered a job reference I can now continue. As you can see the job reference will appear on the reports. Now to add a drop down menu to the user data settings. If I go back to settings and add a new user data, I'll call this customer. So in the preset values below here, I can enter what I want on the drop down menu. For this example, I'll just use customers A, B and C. If I want a default value, I can choose from the list. For this example, I'll use customer A. I do not need a user to allow to edit this. If I wanted to, I could have a pass value. For example, customer A is a pass value and customer B and C would be fail values. For this example, I will leave this without a pass value. If we hit OK, let's redecode the barcodes. We still have our job reference up here. I'll just put that as a test. And here we can see our customer. We have a choice of customer A, B, and C, and customer A was our default. So let's choose customer B. We'll hit OK. And let's see what the report says. If we open up the reports, we can see the customer and customer B. We also have the job reference from our free text item, which is still active. For a third example, I will go back to the user data to edit the drop down menu. I'll put on a pass value. So if I click on edit and I'll check this value and I want the pass value to be customer C only. And if we hit OK and OK again, and let's again re-decode these barcodes. And here we have the job reference. Again, I'll just put one, two, three, and four. So if I select customer B and hit OK, we should see in the reports that this should have a fail value. Let's open up the new report. And as you can see, the customer on the user data line is a fail. And if I redecode these barcodes again, for this job reference, I'll use the pass value of customer C, hit OK, and open up this report. You can see it has a pass value for customer C. 
I hope this was helpful to you and if you have any questions then please contact us or visit our website at axicon.com.